a tank has four taps of equal capacity. The distance between two consecutive taps is equal. The first tap is at the bottom of the tank and the fourth tap is at three-fourths of its height. Then find in how much time will the tank be completely empty if the first tap takes 12 hours to completely empty the tank. So very interesting question, right? It says the tank has got four taps of equal capacity. What is really interesting here is that these taps are not at the same level, right? I mean, usually we know that the taps which fill the tank are at the top, the taps which empty the tank are at the bottom. But here he says the distance between two consecutive taps is equal. And the first tap is at the bottom of the tank, whereas the fourth tap is at three-fourths of its height. So we have to first, uh, you know, do the, uh, you know, diagram of this tank, right? How does it look like? So basically, this is the tank, let's say. This is the tank. Right? The height is H. The height is H. Now, there are four taps. The first one is at the bottom of the tank. So the first tap is at the bottom of the tank. Tap or uh, outlet pipe. We know that the distance between two consecutive taps is equal, right? Consecutive taps are at equal distances. The fourth tap is at three-fourths of its height. So if this is the height, let's say this is three-fourths. So like this is one, one-fourth, this is half, this is three-fourths. So the fourth tap is here. The third tap would be here in that case. And the second tap would be here. So these are the four taps. You understand? These are the four taps and all these are outlet pipes. I mean. All this neatness is not in the exam, but just let's let's understand what happens here. Okay, so these are the taps. So this is the first one, second one, third one. I mean, the first outlet, the second outlet, the third one, and the fourth one. So basically, if you observe, the tank is getting divided into four parts. One fourth of the tank, another one fourth of the tank. This is another one fourth of the tank, and this one is the last part, one fourth of the tank. You getting it? So the total capacity of the tank has been divided into four parts, four equal parts: one fourth, one fourth, one fourth, and one fourth. So at each uh, level, there is a outlet pipe. <coughs> now, if you have understood this, I think a large, uh, to a, I mean, the problem is solved to a, solved to a large extent. He says, find out how much time will the tank be completely empty. In how much time will the tank be completely empty? Now this is the tank. In how much time will it be empty? If the first tap, this tap, take 12 hours to completely empty the tank. It takes 12 hours to completely empty the tank. Understand that this, this particular tap will take 12 hours to completely empty the tank. Which means no other tap is available. 2, 3, 4 are not available. Only when tap 1 is available, it will take 12 hours. 12 hours for how much? For the full tank. 12 hours for full tank. 12 hours for full tank. The taps are all of equal capacity. That means if you put any tap at the bottom, it would have taken 12 hours. Yes or no? Since all the taps are of equal capacity, use any tap, it would take 12 hours. But the point to be noted is, if it takes 12 hours for emptying the full tank, for emptying one fourth, it will take only three hours. Yes or no? For emptying this one fourth, it would take three hours. For emptying this one fourth, this tap would take three hours. This would take three hours and this would take three hours. You are able to follow? So basically, when 2, 3, 4 are shut, when 2, 3, 4 are closed, the tap 1 alone will take 12 hours for the full tank. So I can say it takes 3 hours for each quarter. We have divided the tank into 4 quarters. For each quarter, it would take 3 hours. For the first quarter, 3 hours, second quarter, 3 hours, third quarter, 3 hours, and the last quarter, 3 hours. Total 12 hours to empty the full tank. You able to follow? Now understand that since the capacities are equal, the second, third, and fourth taps would have also taken 12 hours. But then these are not at the bottom. Second tap is not at the bottom. If the second tap was at bottom, even this tap would have taken two hours because their capacities are equal. But the second tap is at a little higher position. So if only second tap has to empty the tank, let's say one, three and four are uh, left as it is. Tap one, tap three and tap four are shut. Only second tap has to empty the tank. Remember, it will never be able to fully empty the tank. It will be able to empty only three quarters because the fourth quarter is below its level. Right? Second tap will never be able to empty the full tank. It will it will empty only, it will be able to empty only the three quarters. Yes or no? The first three quarters. Because this one is below its level, right? Now for each quarter, if it takes three hours, for three quarters, it will have taken nine hours. Similarly, if you look at the third tap, will the third tap be able to empty the bottom two quarters? No. Because it is 
at this level, right? It will be able to empty only the top two quarters. It would have taken six hours to empty this half of the tank. Remember, it's not the total tank. It is whatever they can remove will take six hours. And similarly, the fourth tab would have taken three hours because the fourth tab can empty only one quarter. And for emptying one quarter, these tabs take three hours, right? Please note that this timings three hours that I've mentioned here is for applicable for all the tabs. The first tab would take three hours. Similarly, if the second tab or third tab or fourth tab have to empty, even they would take three hours for this quarter. Unfortunately, they cannot empty it because it is below that level, right? Now, if you look at these timings, I mean, this is not of much importance. I was trying to explain you what happens in su such a case. I mean, we will solve the question in a completely different, uh, with, with completely different numbers. But the point that you have to notice, first tap would take 12 hours to completely empty the tank. Second tap would take 9 hours to empty 3 fourths of the tank. Third tap would take 6 hours to empty half of the tank, 2 quarters of the tank, right? 12 hours for how many quarters? 4 quarters. Right? You're able to follow. 4 parts, let's say. Each quarter is like a part, right? Each quarter is like a part. I mean, a lot of explanation, but solving it would be very easy. 4 parts. Because it can empty 4 parts. This would empty only 3 parts. This would empty only 2 parts. And this tank would empty only 1 part. Right? So we have understood that different tabs would empty different number of parts and accordingly they will take the time, right? So four parts take 12 hours, three parts would take only nine hours and so on. Now, then find out how much time will the tank be completely empty if all these tabs are open. All these tabs are open simultaneously, parallelly. So how much time will it take to completely empty the tank, total time required? How do you solve this? See, how, how will the emptying process happen? It will happen from top to bottom, right? The bottom part will not get emptied. First, the top part will get emptied. Yes or no? First, the top part will get emptied, right? Now, understand the fact that when the top part is getting emptied, how many pipes are working? Four pipes are working. Pipe number four is working. Pipe number three is working. Pipe number two is working. And pipe number one is also working. Because all these four pipes will be releasing water, right? When the tank is completely full, water will come out from all the four pipes. That means all the four pipes are helping in removing this first part. For one pipe, it takes three hours. If four pipes are working together, the time required will be three by four hours. Yes or no? For emptying this part alone, for emptying this quarter alone, one pipe would take three hours. But since four pipes are working together, the time required will become one fourth. Remember that the uh, time required is inversely proportional to the number of people working working on it. If four people are working, time required will be one fourth. So if four pipes are working, time required will be one fourth of the actual time. So one fourth of three hours. Plus, now what happens? This part has got emptied. Let me highlight. This part is empty, right? Now we are trying to empty this part, the second part. Understand that when the second part is working, how many how many pipes can help? Three pipes can help. Pipe number three, pipe number two, and pipe number one. To empty the second part, each pipe would have taken three hours. But since three of them are working together, they'll take three by three hours. So this, this part got emptied, right? The second part also got emptied. Now comes the third part. When the third part is being emptied, how many tap, taps are in uh, uh, working condition? Only tap number two and tap number one. Because the above two taps are no more in a position to empty, right? They're above the water level. To empty this part, each tap would take three hours. But since there are two taps working together, it'll take three by two hours. So this part also got emptied. And finally, we are left with the last part. The last part. Last part is the last quarter, right? One fourth of the time. Which which tap can empty it? Only tap number one can empty it. Because all the remaining taps, two, three, and four are above the water level. Now you know that tap number one will take three hours to empty this part alone. And only one tap is working. So divided by one, three by one. And that's your answer. Three by four plus three by three plus three by two plus three by one. Simplify this. Don't take LCM and do, you know, waste your time there. Three by one is three. 3 by 2 is 1.5, 3 by 3 is 1, and 3 by 4 is 0.75. What is the sum of all this? 3 plus 1, 4, 4 plus 1.5 is 5.5, plus 0.75 is 6.25. So your answer will be 6.25 hours. You're getting it? So it's very important. It's, I mean, it's a very important concept. You just need to understand that since the pipes are at different levels, not all the pipes will be emptying all the parts. The topmost part will be emptied by all the pipes. Second part will be emptied only by three pipes. Third part will be emptied only by two pipes. And the last part will be emptied only by one pipe. And that's why we are changing the denominators. Because more number of pipes, less time required proportionally, right? So final answer will be 6.25 hours.